Hello everyone, today is Memorial Day in the United States and we're going to be dedicating this short segment on the Obscure History Channel to Dr. Joseph Warren, an American physician and soldier who lost his life in the Battle of Bunker Hill, fighting the British in the Revolutionary War. Joseph Warren was born on June 11, 1741 in Roxbury, Massachusetts to Joseph and Mary Warren. Warren's father was a farmer but died when Warren was only 14 years old, when he fell off a ladder getting fruit in his orchard. Warren attended the Roxbury Latin School for his education and later Harvard College, where he graduated from Harvard in 1759. Warren also taught for a year at his alma mater at Roxbury Latin School, and he studied medicine, then eventually became a doctor. When Warren was practicing medicine surgery in Boston, he found himself being involved with politics. He associated himself with the Sons of Liberty, a secret society in colonial America whose focus was to fight against British taxation and undermine British rule in the colonies. Some members of the Sons of Liberty included John Hancock and Samuel Adams. Warren also was part of the Boston Committee that created a report after the Boston Massacre occurred. Further tension was seen between Boston and the British during the years of 1773 and 1775. This was when Warren was appointed to the Boston Committee of Correspondence. This committee was an institution used by colonists to keep in contact with each other in order to formulate plans for collective action of opposition to British actions. After the Boston Massacre, Warren gave two orations that spoke about the Boston Massacre. In 1774, Warren also wrote the first draft of the Suffolk Resolves, which would later be endorsed by the Continental Congress to show resistance towards the intolerable acts imposed on the colonies by the British. The action that is best associated with the life of Dr. Joseph Warren is that he told William Dawes and Paul Revere about the British garrison in Boston intending to raid Concord and arrest John Hancock and Samuel Adams. The following day is when the battles of Lexington and Concord began and Warren led a militia into battle. Warren almost died after fighting the battles of Lexington and Concord, yet he still continued to fight for the patriotic cause he believed in and began recruiting and organizing soldiers for the siege of Boston. Later on June 14, 1775, Warren was commissioned as a major general by the Provincial Congress. However, several days later, he was killed in the Battle of Bunker Hill. Warren's death was remembered amongst many patriots in the colonies, and his death was viewed as an act of martyrdom that would further increase the revolutionary sentiment at the time. Finally, I wanted to end this short segment by showcasing a song written in 1774 by Dr. Joseph Warren, titled Free America, to show his love for his country that he bravely fought and died for in the Revolutionary War. Torn from a world of tyrants beneath this western sky, we formed a new dominion, a land of liberty. The world shall own we're masters here, then hasten on the day. Huzzah, 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 huzzah for free America. Lift up your hands, ye heroes, and swear with proud disdain. The wretch that would ensnare you shall lay his snares in vain. Should your repent be all her force, we'll meet her in array. And fight and shout and fight and shout for free America. God bless this maiden climate and through her vast domain. May hosts of heroes cluster who scorn to wear a chain. Then guard your rights, Americans, nor stoop to lawless sway. Oppose, 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 oppose for North America. Some future day shall crown us the masters of the main. Our fleet shall seek in thunder to England, France, and Spain. A nation o'er the ocean spread shall tremble and obey. The sons, the sons, the sons, the sons of free America.